Tom Cruise fights to clear his name on the next hard copy. From the NBC studios in Burbank, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Featuring Kevin Eubanks on The Tonight Show. Tonight, Jay welcomes Academy Award nominee Uma Thurman. Comedian Victoria Jackson. The music of Laurie Anderson. And Jay visits Space Center Houston. I'm Ed Hall. And now. something today very very moving just to talk seriously for a moment I was watching this documentary the Statue of Liberty you ever read the inscription on that thing it says send us your poor you're tired you're weak your huddled masses and we will make the major league baseball players yeah we can turn anybody into a pro come on down yeah. of course the two big stories continue to be the OJ trial and of course the baseball strike well, too bad we can't figure out a way to get the baseball players to go back to work and get the lawyers in the O.J. trial to go on strike. Now, that would be great. Wouldn't they just put that whole thing away? See, I'll tell you something. This whole baseball thing, if those replacement players were smart, they should go on strike and demand more money. I mean, think about it. What are the owners going to do? Hire replacement replacement people at this point, huh? How bad would they be? How would he go? The Bad News Bears, Little League, where are you going to find them? See, thinking all the time. Not necessarily funny, just thinking. Just thinking, you see. Just an idea. <laughs> Actually, there is a bright side to this strike. You know, since the owners replaced the players, maybe the next step will be to replace the water those hot dogs are boiled in. That would be nice. You take that next step and replace that. But, folks, let me say something. I have an announcement to make. I'm very proud of this. I am now down to just two hours of OJ a day. Huh? Just two hours a day, huh? Can you see? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, I have decided. I have a life now. <laughs> Actually, kind of a light moment in the trial today. I thought this was kind of cute. A little bit of levity. See when Robert Shapiro walked in wearing a I'm with guilty t-shirt? Did you see that part? <laughs> oh, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> They took another sidebar. They don't do that sidebar thing where all the lawyers go and they kind of hang with Edo Man over there by the little sidebar. And you know, I thought, oh, maybe they're doing some legal thing. Apparently, this is just a break, just a recreational period. Uh, I don't know if you saw it today. We had our cameras mounted a little bit differently than the main feed camera to show you what happens at a sidebar. Can we go to the sidebar today? This, this is afternoon. Superior Court. Now, there's Judge Edo. Now, you see, look, watch. You know. <laughs> as fast as a little man there, but all right. <laughs> hey, you know who's testifying this week? Cato Kalen. Cato will testify, providing, of course, surf's not up. Hey! <laughs> now, you see this? Cato Kalen. Now, he's the guy. Listen to this. According to the uh, New York Daily News, he's the guy O.J. asked to give him an alibi for that night. Hey, this could really work out great for Cato. He could do well with this thing. He could say, yeah, as I recall, we're in the backyard. O.J. was hitting golf balls, and he was telling me how he wanted me to move into the big house. <laughs> and he was going to live in the guest house. Isn't that right, O.J.? Oh, yeah, exactly what happened. <laughs> now, you know about this? Last week, famed, and they said famed pianist on CNN, Roger Williams gave a private concert for the O.J. jury. Now, you probably know that Johnny Cochran is a good friend of Michael Jackson's, right? Well, there's a rumor in the paper today that Michael Jackson might perform for the O.J. jury, which, of course, is stupid. He's not going to do that. LaToya, I can understand. Now, she, 
she's used to working in front of 12 people or less. So she would be very... That would be about the right side. Oh, do you have any LaToya CDs, sir? Have you ever been to a LaToya concert? I rest my case. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Actually, there's another controversy surrounding the trial. This thing just doesn't stop. You've heard about this, Annie Leibovitz. She is the, like, one of the most famous photographers in the world. She does all those uh, beautiful covers for Vanity Fair magazine. Well, Judge Ito has given her special access to photograph the OJ trial. In fact, I believe she is doing Judge Ito's official portrait which they shot last night after court adjourned. Again, we had our cameras there. We filmed. <laughs> well, here, here's Judge Edo getting his picture taken by Andy Lieber. Take a look. We show you the court. That's it. Look judicial. Yes, yes. Now, a little pouty with the lips. There you go. A little skin, if I can see just a little. Yes, very nice. Very nice. This is awesome about the world, by the way. Very, yes. Is that a gavel in your shorts? You're just happy to see. Very nice. Now, overruled as a stumble from the bench. Yes. Oh, yes. All of the glasses. Very nice. Be fight. <laughs> I never seen you in a suit. Look at that. What, you got a court case right after the show? Fix in a suit. Oh, man, I didn't know you had a suit. Oh, jeez. I need two weeks saving that salary. Get a suit. Man, I didn't, I'm going, who's that guy? What the, what the, what the, what the, hey. And folks in Washington still talking about that tourist trolley. See that tourist trolley was burned up across the street from the White House? At first, I didn't realize it was a trolley. You know, they just thought, oh, another Clinton nominee going down in flames. But apparently, no. This was the trolley burning up. I guess you know about this. President Clinton is being criticized by the Republicans today for lending $20 billion to Mexico without getting any collateral. Now, how can the Republicans say he didn't get any collateral? We have half their people here. Hey, look. Anybody here from Denver? A new airport's supposed to up, open up there. It's supposed to be the first, listen, it's the first environmentally friendly airport, they say. Because all the toilets there are designed to save water on flushing. Is that really a problem at airports? Wasting water on flushing? When was the last time you used an airport toilet where the last person flushed it? Let's be honest, huh? <laughs> They're all environmentally friendly. You know, yeah, I don't remember ever going in there. <laughs> And yesterday in France, listen, a French woman turned 120 years old, making her the oldest person in the world. That's got to be very strange. I mean, Matt, being 120, there is nobody in the world her own age. I mean, I mean imagine dating, okay? No, no, no. Let's say she meets a guy she likes who's 90. People are going to be saying, look, you're 30 years older than him. You look ridiculous together. He's using you, Susan. You're making a fool. some good news. I guess this is good news. Italian newspapers are reporting that in Sicily, the mafia has dropped the kiss of honor as part of its ritual. You know, you see the gun? They have dropped the kiss of honor. The bad news is they're still retaining the stiletto in the neck, the bullet in the eye, and the hatchet in the face. So those are keeping that. Well, I'm still working on that. Still working on that. Oh, man. Slow hand Eubanks over there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How about this, folks? Dietitians say every time you have sex, you burn up 250 calories. You know that? I don't think it works for guys, though. I mean, sure, you burn up 250 calories having sex, then you gain another 1,500 with the beer and the pizza afterwards. So really, kind of cancels it out. Actually, scientists say there is one way men can lose up to 3,000 calories by having sex. That's if the woman, if the woman leaves her pantyhose on during it. See, that'll use up the three thousand. Use that. It's kind of a struggle here. Oh, folks, you know, I tell you something. Since this uh, OJ thing started, lawyers have become such high-profile people. You ever see those annoying lawyer ads? You know, they just see them on. We have a new sponsor here at the program. Well, I have to take a look, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say I endorse this, but. Uh, and now, an important message from the Hollywood law offices of Larry the Lawyer. 
Hey, don't cry to me. I told you Cochran and Shapiro would bleed you dry. Oh, yeah? Next time, get fish. They don't bark. Hello. I'm Larry the lawyer, attorney to the stars. Now, what's the biggest problem celebrities have with hiring high-priced attorneys? They drag a case on for years until you end up having to write a tell-all book just to pay your legal fees. Now with me. Now with Larry the lawyer. I promise lawsuits in about an hour. When you hear this sound, ouch! That means somebody's been injured. In fact, just listen to some of these satisfied celebrity clients. I got poisoned from a bad box of chocolates, and Larry the lawyer got me $50,000. I got an infection after having a tattoo removed from my butt. Larry the lawyer got me $250,000. I called the guy a hockey puck, and he hit me in the head with a hockey puck. Larry the lawyer got me $750,000. So celebrities, when you hear this sound, ouch, call me, Larry the lawyer. I promise lawsuits in about an hour. Good show tonight, folks. Academy Award nominee from the movie Pulp Fiction, Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman is here. It's Uma Mania. Uma Mania tonight. You know her from Saturday Night Live, uh, comedian Victoria Jackson. Victoria Jackson is here. And... This is an all-estrogen program tonight. I'm the only testosterone on the whole show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful uh, performance artist, music. Uh, she's terrific. Music of Laurie Anderson. Stay tuned if you've not seen this one before. She's very, very good. Say hello to Kevin Eubanks and the Tonight Show Band. <laughs> The film that over 65 critics chose as best film of the year has been nominated for seven Academy Awards. Is that a fact? Including Best Actor, John Travolta. Best Supporting Actress, Uma Thurman. Best Supporting Actor, Samuel L. Jackson. Best Director, Quentin Tarantino. Best Original Screenplay and Best Picture of the Year. That's a bold statement. The Motion Picture Event of the Year. Pulp Fiction, rated R. Now playing. Please empty your pocket, sir. I've got a tin foil, spark plug, my retainer, and my Tostitos. I'll hold these. Try again. I think that's it. Aha! Uh -huh. Tostito salsa. I wouldn't open that. Break out Tostitos tortilla chips and salsa. The next thing you know, you've got a party. Did you know you have a metal plate in your head? Really? No, not really. <laughs> You got Tostitos, you got a party. Tall, dark, and handsome oh, Mom. is no match for short, blonde, and a left. Yes, that was history. Chevy Chase. And Home Improvement's Jonathan Taylor Thomas <laughs> in the story of a father-to-be ah! and the son who will always be ah! man of the house. Can't get any worse than this. Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 3rd, at a theater near you. Every once in a while, a product is as good as the claim. DOC Nightbreaker lenses are just that good. For years, Glare made it almost impossible for me to drive at night. DOC Nightbreaker lenses changed that. I need to drive at night to deliver my pizzas. Before Nightbreakers? No way. I'll never get another pair of glasses without Nightbreaker lenses. DOC Nightbreaker lenses. The best thing to happen tonight? Since streetlights, you have my word on it. Comedian and odd woman. 
I guess, would be a that would be a legal title, odd woman, but a nice woman, Victoria Jackson, and of course, uh, Laurie Anderson, and uh, what else is going on? Oh, you know what, Deb, I want to do with my, uh, I, I, I use my uh, night vision goggles to chase the cat. You know, I have this cat, and at night when you wake up, you know when you walk around your house, cats can see in the dark, and of course, I could never catch the cat in the dark, and the cat thinks this is the funniest thing, because I'd walk around the cat, meow, 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 it just thinks this is the funniest, so I spent $1,000 on these night vision goggles, so I could chase the cat in the dark, and it worked. Last night, I could, and the cat had no idea how it was fun. So I'm going to try and hook the VCR, I mean my camcorder, up to my, uh, up to my uh, night vision goggles and see if I can catch the cat and, and bring it in and, and see what happens. Just, I know, it's stupid. Anyway, let's jump. Last week, we were in uh, Houston. Before that, you know, another thing. Last week, we were in Chicago. I said the great state of Chicago being silly, yes. And I got a note from NBC Legal telling me that Chicago is not a state. Shut up! <laughs> anyway, we went to Houston all uh, uh, last weekend. We had a great time in Houston, and we, we talked about partying and, and cowboys. But see, it's not all cowboys. We went to a place that's very familiar to anybody who's ever watched a NASA space launch. It's right there, Space Center Houston, the Houston control people. We were there, ladies and gentlemen. Where they shoot off the rockets, here's what they had to say. <laughs> I'm here at Space Center Houston, the Visitor Center for NASA. With me, Mr. Story Musgrave, an astronaut for 28 years, been on five shuttle missions, hope to go on another mission soon. How are you, sir? Very fine, thank you. You ready to take a tour? Yeah, let's do her. Okay. Now, what is this here? That's a manned maneuvering unit. Oh, it simulates uh, traveling through yes, space? and flying through space. Is it like dangerous? No, oh, nothing to go wrong. A little puff of air. Try it. Okay. Whoa! Hey, hey, what's he? Hey, whoa! Ow! Let me, Let me ask you about after a mission, we see the astronauts, they get off. Where do they fetch their personal belongings? How do they go about that? It's not as glamorous as you may think. I remember one flight. Attention, Apollo retrieval team. Please meet your party at baggage claim carousel number two. Now, what's happening here? This is a brilliant engineer that's working on teleportation. What? Teleportation? We don't need rocks. Just beam me up there. Wow. Could you actually send us to another part of the space center? Yeah, let's try it right now. OK. Really? Wow, yeah. this sounds pretty neat. All right. <laughs> hey, it worked. It's hard. He's got no pants. What a way to go. <laughs> hey, who's this guy? Remember the UFO crash in Roswell in 1948? Yeah. Space alien. He's been with us ever since then. Oh, really? Uh, but I got something to really like, an old yeah. Harley out in the parking lot. An old Harley? Yes, oh, an old I'd Harley. love to see that. Oh, that's fabulous. Where? Now, what is this here? Just one of your original lunar rovers. Wow. But, but this one hasn't run in over 20 years. You mind if I take a look? I'm pretty good with cars. Oh. Hang on. There you go. Oh. A small block Chevy is sometimes a little tricky. Really? This is what we call the zero-g restaurant. It's where the public comes to eat space food. You mean they get to eat exactly what the astronauts eat? Yes, just what we get to eat. Oh, this is the menu here, huh? Yes. Wow, tang burgers, chicken a la tang, linguine with tang sauce, tang surprise, steak and eggs and tang, even dessert, black forest tang cake. Wow. Let's talk for a minute about concepts and conceptual thinking in outer space. Where do a lot of these ideas come from? We have to be a state-of-the-art uh, company. Here's where a lot of our most advanced ideas come from. Disintegrator beams. Rosie the robot. Yes. Astro the family dog. Now, what is this room here? Jay, this is the Mission Status Center. Wow, this is where they keep an eye yes. on all the spacecraft? Very dedicated, focused people follow the missions here. Now, these two scientists here, they're watching that screen pretty intently. Obviously, some kind of crisis is going on. Well, can we take a look? Hey, they're watching the OJ trial. I can't believe it. It's been a great day. You ready to go? Yes, sir. Beam us out. <laughs> We're right back with Academy Award nominee Uma Thurman right after this. Don't go away. <laughs>
You know, there's nothing more fun than a vacation at sea. You can lounge in the fresh air, visit romantic ports, enjoy fine dining, great shows, pampered service. I love it here. There's so much to do. Holly, how? Hi, Kathy. Hi, Richard. What are you doing here? Having the time of my life. Oh, yay. If my friends can see me now. Take a three, four, or seven day vacation on Carnival, the most popular cruise line in the world. I love this ship. Desktop shipping software from FedEx. This is a time when few have got to do the work of many. Now you can point, click, and ship everything right from your own computer. It reminds me of the winter of 84. Packages are ready to go. Oh, Should I tell you? That's it? my little heart. It's warm enough. For free shipping software, call FedEx. Yeah, they all look innocent enough. Until they start ganging up on you. Then you'll be glad you invested in the security of Jeep Grand Cherokee with full-time four-wheel drive, 190 horsepower engine, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, and a driver's airbag. Because when you're outnumbered millions to one, you need all the help you can get. Now get great values on Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. See your superstar Jeep and Eagle dealer for the best in automotive sales, service, and value. This weekend, the Super Sale, IX Center, Carpet Barn, Buckeye Sport, LaSalle Interiors, Truck Caps, Mattress Warehouse, Emporium Brass, 150 stores, Best Prices of the Year, the Super Sale, Hoover Vacuums, $39, Microwaves and Leather Jackets, $49, Mattresses, $39, Cordless Phones, $29, Answering Machines, $19, Waterbeds and Futons, $99, Computers, Golf, Skis, Tires, Tools, Stereo, CDs, Cassettes, Nintendo, Sega, Clothing, Jewelry, Perfume, Giant, Giant Discount, IX Center, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the Super Sale. Described herself in this week's Time magazine as a complete goofball nerd. She is also a terrific actress nominated for an Academy Award for a performance in Pulp Fiction. Please welcome goofball nerd Uma Thurman. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, you do? Yes. You should get these night vision goggles. Did Jimmy talk about that? <laughs> no. Oh, they're fabulous. You know how you, your cats can see in the dark, but, yeah. but, you, but you can't. Right. And when I would chase my cat in the dark at well, night... Who were you chasing your cat in the dark for? Well, it's just... Uh, you're supposed to play with the cat. The cat thought this was very... The cat would just... Well... Anyway, I, bought, I spent $1,000 on these night vision goggles so I can see where the cat is in the dark. How the... perverse. Oh, it's not perverse. <laughs> Oh, the cat is, like, totally freaked by my new skill. I'm sure. Yeah, but I'm going to say, if you have a cat, and you think the cat is outsmarting you, night vision goggles. Way to go. <laughs> well, my cat's very old. You know, she moves pretty slowly. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yeah, she's oh. 22. 22? Mm-hmm. But you're only 24. I know. I was about two when I got her, two and a half. Wow. Well, that, well, that's, well that's pretty... Well, that's traumatic if something happens to the cat. I mean, well, it's... I'm saying, oh, the cat could die any minute, is what I'm saying. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, that, well, that's pretty. So this cat has been with you your whole career. Yeah. My whole career, yes. Well, my your, whole whole life. Life. your whole life, your whole career. Uh-huh. Oh, that's, well, that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. But oh, all the more reason why you should get these night fishing goggles. <laughs> then you might have a heart Maybe attack. Maybe I could even follow her into death with them, you know. Just that's right. Them it's, it's kinda, so cat years is 22. How, what is that? Is cat years like dog years? 
Um, I, well, they say it's time seven, but who knows, really? Did oh, is it, is the, it the same for cats? Um, I, I suppose, yes, yeah, seven. I always hear What is seven. 22 times seven? <laughs> Look at the audience. <laughs> This crowd didn't come from He's Jeffrey. 154. 154. Look, and you use the calculator, you moron. <laughs> so how have you been? What, what do you want to talk about? What's new? The driving? Did you learn to drive? I, I did. I, did I, I learned license? to drive. I got my license. I can do it now. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me, if you're nominated for Academy Award, you can at least, least act like you, you know how to drive. you can drive to the ceremony, right? Yeah. yeah there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, that's very good. How is it going? It's going well. I got a little, little scrape, but, you know, it's fine. Scrape? Scrape? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Well, I was... I had this, this accident. I damage this car slightly. It wasn't your fault. No, well, I was trying to park it. <laughs> and um, I, was try I was trying to park it in this, in this, uh, uh, in actually the rental car return station in the Aspen uh, airport. Oh, I see. Oh, it's and, a rental uh, car. Nobody cares uh, about that. <laughs> well, the rental car lady did. Uh, <laughs> she was upset. Did she see you do it? Were you right there in front of there her? There were many witnesses, many. I actually had to, uh, I actually had to get out of the car and ask someone to do it for me because I was continually grinding it into another car <laughs> just, on, on a patch of ice. <laughs> you, know, you just kept, you mean you figured you would force it into the space? No, it was like a kind of like, well, do I go forwards, do I go back? You know, oh, let's try forwards again. You know, and it seemed that it would just slide, you know, just... So you, so you drove the whole time without an accident, and then as you brought it back, you had this? Isn't that just a pity? Oh, man. <laughs> and did, it, did it make you fill out the thing where you have to check, make an X on the little model of the car where you damaged your car? I was too guilt-ridden to do it. A friend of mine had to take me through it. it oh, I see. too traumatic for me. And they'll probably never let you run a car again. And they probably never uh, will. <laughs> so, I mean, do you want to drive now? Are you going to do road trips and things like that? Do you like it? Um, I'm quite, I'd like to do a road trip. I always have these, these in-depth fantasies about how, like, that's why I wanted to learn to drive, so I could mm -hmm. then get into a car and simply disappear. Uh, but I am deeply paranoid about being sort of in the middle of nowhere in a car by myself. Well, that's a, a logical... That deep paranoia kind well, of stuff? Well, being in a car by yourself, you're not familiar <laughs> with it, driving along, someone like myself could come along, it'd be a horrible experience. Someone like yourself. <laughs> we'll take advantage of the situation. Where would the you testosterone, drive? you know, yeah, yeah, estrogen. Again, I, I, that's my defense. <laughs> testosterone, Your Honor, I had no idea. It works in most legal cases. <laughs> that's right. Yes. So where would you drive? Would you go across the United States? Would you like to drive to Europe? Where? Um, where, where do you see yourself taking? I wanted to sort of drive across the beautiful country of America. Oh. Europe, I wouldn't be drive. I wouldn't be caught dead in a car driving in Europe. Oh, you'd probably be caught dead in America in a car. I, well, first. I would be dead in a car in Europe. <laughs> so you like to go what, coast to coast on a trip like that? I'd love to. Okay. I did it once when I was younger with my family. Yeah. And um, I was just about like seven or eight, and we all piled into a, a large van and drove across country. Was it like a peace van thing? No, there was no peace symbol on it, really. Oh. But um, your folks are like kind of free spirits, right? Well, they are free spirits. Well, I mean, like a van thing. I mean, like 20 years no, ago. No, they needed to get to California. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you bought a car? No, no, I, I don't own a car. Are you thinking of getting a car? I'm thinking of getting a car all the time. I like to eyeball cars. What do you like? I like, um, I, didn't I ever tell you, I like red cars. A red car? Yes. <laughs> good. So just as long as it's red, really, that's the... Red car with airbags, like white satin airbags. <laughs> go with airbags. Now, you see, that's the term. Now, how would you even know if it has airbags? You know. I'd ask the dealer. No, no, would it be matching airbags? Would it be like a red, red? His or would and it be... her, his and her, her and her, you know. Oh, I see, but you Anybody? Would... Maybe a white life. would go with red, kind of a contrasting airbag look. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. Are you going to take a break? Oh, all right, we'll take a break. Be back more than right after this. Be right back, right after this. <laughs> to get up early tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Well, good night, Lisa. Good night. <laughs> hey, come on. Miller Light Ice. For the taste that goes all out when you're out. Uh, I would have been here earlier, but I had to drop off. Lisa? Miller Light Ice. The night is young.
Tonight on Late Night, go stargazing with the boys. Uh, Orion's belt. Well, actually, look right over there, Andy. There's Roseanne's bra. Isn't that, uh... Plus Bill Maher. I'm Greg Kinnear. Tonight on Later, Jackie Mason introduces a new dance. You didn't play the room. Come on, everybody. Do the Jackie. Time can't touch us. Eternity. Calvin Klein. Your gift with any $38 Eternity purchase at Dillard's. Hot eats. Hot eats. Cool trees. When you order by number, it adds up to fun with Super Value Meals for as little as $1.99. The Hamburger Super Value Meal, now just $1.99. Or for a little more, get one of our other Super Value Meals, like one with a double cheeseburger or a grilled chicken sandwich. With Super Value Meals, values as simple as one, two, three. Hot is cool treats. We treat you right. Every day, Circuit City guarantees unbeatable low prices. Plus, great selection. Plus, friendly experts. Plus, the best brands. Plus, this Packer Bell multimedia computer with monitor and Canon printer is only $14.99.91. And this Kenwood receiver is only $199.97. When you add it all up, it equals Circuit City. Circuit City. Hurry in now and save. If you're looking for a minivan, your Ford dealers have a few questions for you. Did you know they offer two different minivan models? Did you know they sell more minivans than anyone else in Northeast Ohio? Did you know the new Windstar is the roomiest, quietest, smoothest riding minivan in its class? Well, now you do. If you have any questions of your own, see your Ford dealer. Because when it comes to minivans, it appears they have all the answers. The Ford family of minivans. No wonder we're winning Ohio over. They're in love and want to get married. So what's the problem? This kid is 14 years old. Lisa's 31. This is stupid. How good can sex with a 14-year-old be? Next, Sally Jesse Raphael. Tomorrow morning at 9 on Channel 3. Channel 3 brings you local news first. Weekday mornings beginning at 5.30 a.m. Superstitious, right? Superstitious. You superstitious? I know you like. You said you like that song. I do like that song. Are you superstitious? Um, I don't know. I tend to lump superstitions and neuroses into one category, but um, I, I guess uh, I guess I'm. No, I'm not superstitious. No, no. No, really? Not at all. D don't 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 leave a pen on the table. Really, that's a bad thing. Leave yeah, a pen yeah, on yeah. the table. Take take it off. Now, is that, do you do those things really? Do you do, do you like go back and have to touch things and that kind when of? When I was little, I got sort of addicted to tapping sticks with a cane when I would ride horses. It yeah. was kind of a neur neurotic uh, obsession. But um, I, I, I don't know. Um, no, I'm not particularly. I get no, no, neurotic, neurotic. Like neurotic how? Yeah. Like what do you do? Um, I have like departure anxiety and I get sort departure of... Departure like, anxiety? Yeah, yeah, what is that? I get sort of, now, well, is that a clinical term? Um, I have never checked, actually. Oh, you just made it up is what you're saying? Um, I, well, the words work well together. Yeah, it sounds if, good. If you've experienced it, it's the truth. Well, what is it? Um, I just get very anxious going from one place to another, you know, the oh, separation see. moments. But, I mean, I do it all the time, so yeah, it's yeah. understandable. But, I mean, do you have any things that you do? I mean, like, sometimes... I hate going back after I leave something, leave a place. I hate to, like, retrace my steps. It's, it's really... You mean you won't go back and... If you've left something in a room, you won't go back and get I'd, it? I'd rather... When I, once I leave, I'd go, because it's painful to uh, get out of there, you know. So, if you leave this pen Don't on this desk... Oh, you can't put it on the desk. <laughs> So you wouldn't come back and get it? Hopefully not, no. Not that pen, no, no. No, no, so that's a bad news. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you have any other phobies? You, I mean, like, um, if, if something happens, do you wear, like, the same shoes or something? If no, something no, lucky no. happens? No, no, no. Call people, maybe. Call people? How do you mean? Yeah, you know, I don't, it's not about stuff. Oh, I see. Just, just little yeah. phobias, harmless. Yeah, little harmless, little, right. yeah. Let me ask about the Oscars now. This is very exciting. Where were you when you heard? Did they call you? Did people call you in the middle of the night or something? No, I, well, I was in bed in Los Angeles. In bed in Los Angeles? Yes. Okay. And you got a phone call? I got a phone call and I stumbled out there. Yeah. Like were my you... sheet wrapped around me and I picked up the phone and, and it was someone from New York, my, my publicist, going, Hi, it's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now, were, were you alone at the time in the assembly? Um, actually, two friends of mine came out two of the room. Two friends? Room. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, oh <laughs> came out of the other room. Two of my best friends were staying there. Oh, I see. Okay. And they shuffled out, and they were wiping asleep out of their eyes and gave me a hug, and then we all went back to bed. So what time of the morning are we talking about? I don't know, like 5.30 or something. Oh, wow. Okay. It's pretty, pretty viciously early. Oh, yeah, but that's exciting. I mean, could you sleep? Were you excited, or was it just... I went back to sleep a bit, but the phone kept ringing. Yeah, and, oh, that's uh, neat. Which was nice, because yeah, well... was everybody happy. But the nicest thing is, is that you can... It's a great call to make to your mother, you know? Oh, yeah, that's very exciting. That's the oh, best wow. call. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. So they, they were thrilled, obviously. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, we have a clip here from, from Pulp Fiction. Which scene is this? Do you know what it oh, is? Oh, yeah, I think I, I know what it, what it is. is um, it? This is a scene in a restaurant where uh, John Travolta has been hired to take me on a date. And oh, okay. I'm telling you about my great TV career, which lasted about two seconds. Let's take a look. Pulp Fiction. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox is in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force is in we're a force to be reckoned with. And 5 is in there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill. She was a leader. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master. The black girl was a demolition expert. French Fox's speciality was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. Official thing to go to, right? You want to take our? You know, we have a. We have this car we bought for seven dollars. You do? I know we didn't rehearse this with you or anything, but it, it's sitting out there. And I thought, if you want to take it, you can take it tonight because we only paid seven bucks for it. If you crank it up, it's okay. You okay. Want, you want to fun? Come on, show. Okay. Come on, show. Wait, just follow me. Follow me. A little traveling music. Come on. I'll show you the car. It's a big car. This car, it's a great car. <laughs> this car came all the way. We bought it in Atlanta for seven bucks. Really? Yes, yes. Here it is. Here it is. It's got red upholstery. Hey, I love this car. Do you like it? This is a Pulp Fiction car. This is a. Hey, you want? Hey, want to get on the other side? The keys are in it. Okay. It's got red upholstery. It's an automatic. It's just regular stuff. Hey. Just take it and uh, just leave it anywhere. We'll pick it up. Okay. See if it starts. It should start. You think so? There you go. No, don't okay, keep so turning not. the starter. There oh, you go. Oh, no, it ain't. Hey, hey. No, it's fine. It's running. No, get your hand off the gear. Hang on. Where are you we go. supposed to change the gears? There we go. You're in with Wait, me. Hang on. Wait. Be right back. Be right back. Go ahead. Hey, a new Pontiac Sunfire. Now, if you ever take yours to China, they probably won't let you go tearing around on that big wall they got, which is too bad, because the sport suspension would be great on those curves. Finally, a real set of wheels for around 12.5. The all-new Pontiac Sunfire. And don't forget to watch Live from the House of Blues, presented by Pontiac Sunfire. Check your local listings for time and station. A real set of music on a real set of wheels. Have you had your break today? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger? Yeah. Could I have a teensy weensy little bite? Just a nibble? Okay. <laughs> now McDonald's famous original double cheeseburger or our morning fresh sausage McMuffin with egg is just 95 cents. Have you had your break today? 95 cents only through the end of February. Sometimes with my asthma attacks, I get chest congestion, too. For Lori's problem, there's Primatine Dual Action Tablets. They open up clogged breathing tubes and then start relieving the congestion. For effective relief, try Primatine Dual Action Tablets. Presenting nuggets from Hershey. Thick, rich chunks of Hershey's milk chocolate you can really sink your teeth into. And we all deserve something to sink our teeth into. <laughs> try nuggets, Hershey's thick bite of chocolate. Tom Clancy's number one bestseller comes to NBC. Warheads were stolen. The lives of millions are at stake. Show him what happens if we fail. One secret agency is our last hope. I want a total press blackout. From the author of Hunt for Red October in clear and present danger. Wait a minute, that's... that's... Got a gun. Tom Clancy's Op Center, NBC Sunday. 
Here's a fresh idea for topping pasta. Pasta ready from Contadina. Vine-ripened tomatoes marinated in olive oil, garlic, and spices for a taste that's deliciously light and fresh. Pasta ready from Contadina in your grocer's canned tomato section. Although this BMW is a highly affordable 325i, it is available with highly advanced all-season traction. Feature you can have on BMWs of all sizes, from the 325i to the 8 Series, to help you slip away without slipping. Visit your nearest BMW dealer for these special lease rates. It's triple savings days on quality Monsanto wear dated carpet at Carpet Barn. Yes! Save 50% off quality wear dated carpet, 50% off pet, and 50% off labor. Sale prices start at just $10.99 a square yard, and that's our three in one price. Yes! Don't be fooled by carpet only prices. Our one price is all you pay with six months, same as cash. You get a square deal on every square yard at Carpet Barn and Tile House. Yes! With cheddar cracker combos, you get cheese and crackers with no assembly required. Cheddar cracker combos. See why combos is the one snack that's twice as good? She took the car. I don't know where she's... We'll get it back. To, she'll call us. She didn't know. We, we didn't plan that. I, we had the car out there, but she didn't know we were going to take the car. I said, just take it. So wherever it turns up. We get a low jack. We'll find out where it is. Anyway, uh, uh, my next guest appeared as a comedian on Saturday Night Live for six years. She's also a singer, and she has a new album out called... Uh, ooh, ukulele. 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 It's a hard word to say. You know, a little guitar thing. Ukulele Lady, which will be released. <laughs> March 6th. What are you laughing about? I'm not laughing, Jeff. It's ukulele, right? All right. Okay, man, you got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at my musical prowess. Please welcome Victoria Jackson. It's nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while, so it's nice to see you back. I was so nervous because I found out I had to sit next to Uma. And sit next to her? Well, I thought she was going to be sitting here, but I'm, I'm really glad she left because... Why? Well, I, well, I know it's not a beauty contest or anything, Why? but... But, like, I, when I was telling people I had to sit next to Uma, all the women went, oh, my God. And, like, you know, and all the men were like, so... And, you know... Yeah, so? I, well, you're, well, you're a very attractive woman. She, she's very nice and everything. But uh, she is nice, but you're but, nice. I mean, but you're like, attractive. she's like the sexiest movie star in the world right now. Yeah. You know? And it was like, oh, but she's not here, so... <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you mean you would have felt better if it was Ed Asner or somebody on it? Yeah, or Luciano Pavarotti. Oh, or, um, Pavarotti. Or Dom DeLuise. Uh, Dom DeLuise. And then I would look very little. You, know? <laughs> you look good. How's the new baby? You just the baby. How old is the baby now? Nine months. Oh, okay. She's in the green room. Yeah, I saw the baby. Looks cute. Very, oh, very cute. Very healthy, strong baby. Yeah. Good, good. yeah. Is it fun? Yeah, now, it seems to me, so you have the perfect voice for talking to a baby. Oh, if, if, thank if I was, you. If I was like nine months old, this is the voice I would want to hear all the time. Because it's a great, you have a great baby voice. Oh, thanks. Well, that's probably why Richard asked me to do a children's album, because I didn't, like, go pursue it. Yeah. But yeah. then it accidentally happened. That's probably because well, of my voice. How do you accidentally do an album? I'm not quite sure. Because, like, if Tom Waits was talking to a baby, that would probably be scary, because he talks like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. I guess he wouldn't do a children's album, because no, that would no. scare them. <laughs> but, um, well, how it happened was, um... I was visiting my friend, Peter Lubell. Hi, Peter. And um, he was visiting this lady, Bonnie Feingood. And they live in this mansion, and they have a horse near the front door, like a huge horse, yeah. but it's cement. Uh -huh. And um, when you ring the doorbell, it says cuss words at you. Oh, that's not really lovely. Yeah. And so I went in the house, like, to pick him up to take him to lunch. And I was looking around, and it was a beautiful house. And the guy co collects neon signs in the backyard and everything. Collects neon signs in yeah, the backyard? Yeah, from restaurants. Oh, okay. 
And so then I was like looking, uh, I was like waiting for Peter to get something out of his suitcase and and I kind of, I heard this prostitute on a talk show. And so I kind of, I wandered into the room to watch the prostitute because I always watch talk shows because I've never actually met a prostitute right. in person. Yeah. I don't think. And, um, and I, I'm curious, you know, how the other side lives. Right. right. And, um, and I was watching it and then I noticed this wedding photo from the 60s in the bathroom so I kind of wandered into the bathroom and um, all of a sudden this lady comes up behind me and she goes who are you what are you doing here and I said oh I'm not a robber or anything I, I just wandered in here I was like in her bathroom all private things were everywhere right, yeah, underwear yeah, yeah. and everything and um, so then I, I said I'm just an out-of-work actor and I Victoria yeah what was the question I asked you, Do you know? <laughs> Album oh, okay, so, all right, so you're in the bathroom. And, and, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't quite follow what we were talking about. All right, so, so, all right, so you're, in the, you're talking to this woman and you're in her bathroom. Yeah, and then I said I'm not a work actor and I was just taking Peter lunch and I was going to sing some songs with my friend Will Yo, who does the voice of Tigger on TV on Winnie the Pooh. Oh, okay. And then she said, oh, she said, well, a friend of mine, Richard Perlmutter, he makes children's albums and so maybe she should call him and then she gave me his number and I was going to oh. throw it away, but then I didn't throw it away. And I called him, and, and I'm so excited because it's my first album, you know, and... and you, see, you see, they put it under the children's category because it's happy. And, like, adults only listen to sad, angry sex songs. And so, if you sing happy, then you have to be in a category in the back of the record store because right. like I think I should be like Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, Victoria Jackson oh, I in, see, yeah, in the record yeah. store. Yeah. Yeah. But my songs are too happy and they're not like nasty boys or Billy Jean, I'm having a baby and it's not yours, you know. Yeah. It's, so my happy songs are like in the children's because children probably don't, you don't want to play sad, no, right, angry right. songs. Well, let me change the subject here, which I, I think we did, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Now, your husband, Paul, still a police officer in, in Miami. Wasn't he on the SWAT team last time we talked? Uh, well, yeah, and then he got promoted to his dream job, flying a helicopter over Miami, catching oh, bad guys from the sky. Oh, that's good. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, and I want him to move here, but he loves his job, so he stays there, and I have to come back nope. and forth. Does he have a particular area? Does he do, like, the beachfront, like a Baywatch kind of thing? Yeah, the naked people. Naked people? <laughs> yeah. What naked people? Well, you mean he, the people with skinny dip? That's his job, to catch people skinny dipping? No, it's actually against the law to be naked, but no one's enforcing it, you know, because police would be, like, walking up and down catching naked people. Right. They have more better things to do, I guess, sir. But, you see, he said he can't see any naked girls from the helicopter. Oh, because it's too high up. Yeah. So, then one day he came home from work and he said he had to catch this guy who was walking around with no pants on in a park. Yeah. And I said, well, how could you tell he had no pants on if you can't tell the girls have no tops on? Good so police work. I, yeah. caught, I caught him in that oh, little I lie. <laughs> so I could see why that would be his dream job. He, he said he couldn't see details, just could tell the guy didn't have pants on. Oh, I see. You <laughs> yeah. could tell it wasn't a topless woman in other words. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. The new CD is called Ukulele Lady. Yeah. And, and they're happy songs. I was going to sing with the band, but you mm -hmm. said you already had a girl singing with yeah, the band. Yeah, So yeah. next time I'll sing next time. I'll sing the cuts from the album. Okay, that would be good. That would be good. Victoria Jackson, be right back right after this. Pocket, sir. I've got a tin foil spark plug, my retainer, and my Tostitos. I'll hold these. Try again. I think that's it. Aha! Uh -huh. Tostito salsa. I wouldn't open that. Break out Tostitos tortilla chips and salsa. The next thing you know, you've got a party. Did you know you have a metal plate in your head? Really? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you got Tostitos, you got a party. When you're congested, it's like your nose takes over. You can't breathe. You can't sleep. You need Afrin. Afrin works fast. While cold tablets travel through your system, Afrin goes right to your nose. So it works four times faster than the leading cold tablet and relieves congestion in less than five minutes. Afrin. Because you shouldn't have to wait to breathe. 
plan for congested noses that are also dry and irritated, try Afrin Extra Moisturizing Nasal Spray. If you want to know how good life really tastes, you need to wait a few years. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. No caffeine, no sugar, no limits. A study presented at a medical conference shows that for the sore muscles occurring the day after a strenuous workout, Advil provides superior relief to extra-strength Tylenol. For next day soreness, Advil just works better. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. about you, Jamie leaves Paul home alone. Well, now it's all mine. It's so and it's the biggest friends ever with guest Helen Hunt. Hi, it's us. Plus, Joey falls for Phoebe's twin. Everyone always thought of her as the pretty one. And check it out, the hunts from ER date the girls. I use my breasts to get attention. We both do that. And on an all-new Seinfeld, Jerry, a doorman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kramer, a mugger. Is that all you got, fat boy? Plus, an all-new ER NBC Thursday. familiar with my next guest, you should know that uh, she's the most popular, highly acclaimed performance artist in the country. Her current show, The Nerve Bible, is being performed in San Diego at the Spreckles Theater, February 25th and 26th. A lot of the songs from that show are available on our current CD called Bright Red. Go see her if you get a chance. She's really terrific. Please welcome Lori Anderson. of uh, shows in Europe lately and because of all the recent terrorist threats security in the airports there has gotten really tight now usually when I'm going through customs I have a lot of these sort of homemade electronics and all the customs agents are really interested in my equipment so I have to keep unpacking everything and plugging it in and demonstrating how it all works so I've done quite a few of these sort of impromptu new music concerts for small groups of detectives and customs agents. And I'd have to set all this stuff up and I'd play for a while and they'd listen and they'd say, so uh, what's this? And I'd pull out something like this filter. And I'd say, now this is what I like to think of as the voice of authority. And it would take me a while to tell them how I used it in songs that are about, you know, various forms of control. And they would say, now, why would you want to talk like that? And I looked around at the SWAT teams and the undercover agents and the dogs, and I'd say, take a wild guess. You know, recently, there have been a lot of U.S. government directives about how to protect yourself from terrorists. And I got one of these directives from the U.S. Embassy in Madrid. And it was a list of tips designed for Americans traveling through international airports. And the idea was not to call ourselves to the attention of the numerous foreign terrorists who were presumably lurking all over the terminals. So the embassy tips were a list of mostly don'ts. Things like, 
Don't wear a baseball cap. Don't wear a sweatshirt with the name of an American university on it. Don't wear Timberlands with no socks. <laughs> Don't chew gum. Don't yell. Ethel, our plane is leaving. I mean, it's weird when your entire culture can be summed up in eight giveaway characteristics. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Very creative. How's the tour going? Is it fun? Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good time. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, a lot of traveling, and it's hard to get time to eat, mostly. Yeah? Yeah. You know, I saw this thing uh, you were, I guess, taping before today. You had a bunch of hot dogs in the frying pan? Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm going to give you this, like, great recipe that I invented called Hotel Hot Dogs. Hotel Hot Dogs? Yeah, yeah. It's, I invented it on this tour, and I was in Germany on a tour, and, you know, there, like, there's no time to eat. So, um, this is, uh, you know, you, you do the show and then every restaurant in town is closed. Right, so. right. <clears throat> it's called Hotel Hot Dogs. And here's what you need. Do you have any little recipe cards I can write little in Little recipe yeah. cards? I can yeah. write on the back of these. Okay, right. Here's what you need. You need, um... Should I write this down? Yeah. Okay. You need two bratwurst. Two or bratwurst. Or Oscar Myers will also do. Okay. And one lamp. Lamp? Yeah. <laughs> and, um... Wire strippers. Wire strippers. And some pocket knife. And a pocket knife. Yeah. So here's how you do it. You um, first of all you unplug the lamp, and then you unplug, unplug the lamp. Unplug the lamp. <laughs> all right. And then you unwrap the bratwurst, put it on the table, bedside table. I right, put them right on the table. Yeah, right on the table. Put and hot then dogs you, on table. I'll right. Put. Yeah. And then you uh, cut the lamp cord about three feet from the end of the plug, mm -hmm. snip it off. And then with the wire snippers, you just sort of peel the insulation. Strip it off. Strip so it off. Expose wire. And then you thread the wire through the broadburst. Oh, I see. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And then you just plug it in. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. You cook. You cook for about uh, two seconds. Two seconds. Yes. Yeah. Because it, uh, you have to be sure that you know the, the meat will explode at very high temperatures. <laughs> yeah, right. Three yeah. seconds it will explode. Yeah. yeah. Well, at 110, this is 220. Oh, oh I see. This is like a your German version. 110, you go four seconds. 110, four seconds okay. will do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you, it's, it's good with a, like a cool glass of like tap water from the sink. Do you know how many well, fires yeah. there will be tonight after this program? <laughs> No, you can actually try this. It does work. It really works fine. <laughs> Laurie, fascinating stuff. If you haven't been here in a while, please come back and see us. I always enjoy your work. Terrific, terrific shows. He's in San Diego. Thank you, Laurie. You know, Mercury Tracer offers 30 standard features and a very affordable price. So why pay more and get less? The more you wait, the less time you'll have to get special 3.9% APR financing or $600 cash back on Mercury Tracer. Your Lincoln Mercury dealers are moving every Tracer in stock with great deals and special financing. But to get this special 3.9 APR or 600 cash back offer, you'll have to get moving to your dealer by March 8th. So see Mercury Tracer at your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. Right now, for three days only, everything's on sale at Sears Brand Central. Everything on sale? I'm impressed. That means all appliances. Oh, good. I feel a new kitchen coming on. Go for it. With brands like GE, KitchenAid, Whirlpool, Gen Air. Sears has Gen Air? Sure. Plus, all electronics and computers are on sale. Sony, Packard Bell, Apple, and more. I guess they don't call it Brand Central for nothing. <laughs> right. And it's all on sale, but only through Saturday. So don't wait. I'll be there before Saturday. At Sears Brand Central now. Limbaugh's look at his adoring audience. We have uh, that powerful audience research which uh, says that you people can't get enough of me. His loyal listeners. Contrary to what you might think, I don't like to talk all the time. His frenzied fans. We always put the podium way far away so that eager women can't get to me and rip my clothes off. <laughs> He's shaking up America. I am America. Rush Limbaugh. Tonight at 1.35 on Channel 3.
A new constitution for the world. Article 1. We shall form a more perfect union. Article 3. Winter will be exiled. Article 10. There will be peace and hope and really good food. It's different out here. Norwegian Cruise Line. This weekend, the Super Sale, IX Center, Furs by White, Mattress Warehouse, New York Leather Outlet, LaSalle Interiors, Truck Cap, Carpet Barn, 150 stores, Full Length Mink Coats, $7.99, Full Length Wool Coats and Full Length Leather Coats, $69, Leather Bombers, $49, Leather Skirts and Vests, $9, Tires, Guitars, Amps, TVs, VCR, Stereo, Car Stereo, Clothing, Jewelry, Waterbeds, Futons, Fishing Boats, Levi's, Jabot, Nine West, Nike, Sega, even Diamonds Men's Store, IX Center, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, The Super Sale. A Cadillac DeVille, a Lincoln car. The DeVille has front wheel drive and full range traction control standard. The town car doesn't. And here's something else to think about this winter. Right now, you can lease a new Cadillac DeVille for $5.39 a month for 24 months with $2,800 down. So, you think you can pick me up in the morning? See your local Cadillac Gold Key dealers. Oh, thank my guest, Laurie Anderson, bright red as a CD. Do you have a cat, by the way? A cat? Yeah, with no. night goggles. Well, I'll, I'll tell you about <laughs> Tell me about it. No, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's something you would go for, yeah. believe me. <laughs> believe me. Uh, really, you would not think at least that odd. Victoria, ukulele lady is the new CD. Comes out March 6th. Thank you very much. Also, I want to thank uh, Uma Thurman. I have no idea where she went with the car, but uh, she said she'd call. We'll pick it up tomorrow, wherever she leaves it. Some, some drunken stupor somewhere, the Viper Club or something. I have no idea where it'll wind up. Tomorrow night, uh, basketball legend uh, Magic Johnson will be here, folks. MTV's uh, B.J. Kennedy and, of course, Willie Nelson. This is great. No guys on the program.